coming in with some ace attorney today and it'll be good for us to just you know just show out today and have a lot of fun fun time right here mm. hope that you are doing good and um yeah we're here we're here right now everybody hope that you guys are doing good good right here Let's go to our YouTube channel. Streaming. No, it's okay. Please, please. Just later. Hi. Hi, Jade. Welcome to this stream. Come on in. Come on in, Jade. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> Yay, you got some lovely baby Jamie love right there. Did you draw the profile picture yourself right here? Looks lovely right here. So, we're gonna go into the episode 2, The Memoir of the Clouded Kokoro right here. I think there's gonna be more case to unravel, so yeah. Come on in, everybody. It was a ghastly tale of a winter's night. One of an invisible killer and a crime perpetrated on the pavement along Briar Road. As the victim lay at death's door, the mystery of just who had stabbed the young lady from behind had been resolved. Yes, indeed, it's been but resolved. No sooner had my friend saved that Eastern Exchange student from his harrowing plight than in the dim, flickering shadows of gaslight did a second bizarre crime rend the stillness of that very night. Wait, there's another the murder happening in the same day? The sensational headlines of the day. Haunted apartment of death. The condemned criminal's curse. What happened? The demon of coal gas. Sorry, I left the other day. No, Yet, I I wouldn't do that. Had at once the truth why did you Why did you felt scene. that? The thing is that when I'm playing more of a action game, a game that required a lot of my attention, I have to really, really like you know focus on what I have to do right here. I would, I would never, ever, like, you know, abandon my friend or make you feel that you are left out. Six months ago, I arrived visiting uh, as a visiting student of law, having made that long voyage across the sea from the Empire of Japan to here in London, England. But yeah, please please know that when I'm on more of a, you know, action-y game, I can't read the chat like I can do here. That's why in my channel, I have different and many kind of games that I want to play, you know? So that I can connect with more people and some might love, like, games more than others. So... Yay, Wimper Shy! Welcome to the streamy! Hello, baby, little baby goat girl. Come on in. Currently, I reside in this attic of Detective's own lodging. So basically, we're in the home of Sherlock's Holmes or Sherlock Holmes in this game. Hi, Johnny. Welcome back. Lovely to see you. Hi, Tiggy. That is sweet. I successfully defended number of clients in Britain's highest court, the Old Bailey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're solving more mysterious murder right here. We're gonna solve some more cases right here. We're playing as Ryonosuke Narahodo, or Ryu for short right here. So Ryu and me is gonna be the detective and we're gonna solve more 
more cases today. We're just starting off, and um, we can see that the man was uh, strangling another another man right here. And I don't know what happened, but this is gonna be a new case. But since particular grueling and unforgettable legal battle for four months ago now, I haven't returned to the courtroom. In truth, I lost my right to return. Why? Well, we defended the, the person, so I wonder what happened. Thanks to letter arrived this morning from my homeland. Oh, is that, is that from... <laughs> is that just from us getting hungry? Hungry Babs! That's lovely right here, how is it? Hmm, what a delicious smell wafting up the stairs. Must be nearly time for breakfast. I'd be down to Mr. Shom's suite. Ah, let's go. Let's go greet uh, Herlock Sholmes and others right here. As a chef cooking a cream tinder pork and a winner snizzle with Jager sauce. In my do minimum and make myself a bowl of cereal and a pop tart. Aww. I mean, your lovely, lovely menu is amazing right here. I wish I could be there to make some lovely, comfortable meal for you. Yesterday, I made myself some baked bean and some corn soup right here. Because I was very hungry into the night. Hello, Iris. I was just about to call upon you. The bacon is ready. <laughs> bacon! Bacon is lovely. I love bacon. You guys like bacon? Good morning, Iris. It smells delicious as usual. Before we eat, though. That is Sholmes right there. Hello. <laughs> um, personated by uh, our detective, uh, Sherlock Holmes right here. This is the same Sherlock Holmes that you know and love, but more goofy. People always assume five chef cook five star meal at home. Truth is, we usually tried cooking and microwave and frozen pizza. I mean, for the lovely, lovely delicate of, you know, <laughs> an ease of time to rest your lovely, lovely day, you know, whimper shy that make a lot of sense. It's just, it's just lovely to just sit down on your couch and just not worry about anything and grab the easiest meal ever. And it's okay. Oh, and don't forget a bottle of Milky <laughs> to go with that lovely, lovely meal. This could be just an absurd thing to my pre-breakfast and stagnation of my dear fellow. Swapping phone, heading to kitchen. Yay, Johnny Blaze redeems CP the water. It feels super comfortable. I'm just really happy that more people are trying more ABDL diaper. I haven't tried the um, Astro yet. I would love to though. <laughs> Why is he so close? <laughs> He's like so close. The truth to me, to clear, uh, clear to me as day. My faculties of observation have revealed it again. What are you talking about? You, you have this very morning met with a surprise. Wait, what? I just woke up. <laughs> what is to surprise me? Warren explanation. First, your hair is particularly unkempt. Hey, hey! <laughs> my hair, my hair just looked like that when I woke up. Don't your hair look like that when you woke up? You have neglected to fasten the third button to your, of your jacket. Wow! Attention to detail. Clearly, when considered together, these two facts point that you have been flustered this morning. Can I talk now? But, 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 but of course, 
Though I don't look for inspiration, you understand. My hair is always looking like this. I've been this way since I first met you. And the button, it ripped off last night, if you remember. By you. Really, you pulled the button off? Why would, why would he do that? Oh yes, I recall the incident now. It was after the supper, was it not? Um, an evening at once, I picked up my violin and began to play this wailing note of haunting tunes. But then, to my utterly dismay, the third string snapped! Why did that have to happen? Why? He looks so upset though. I'd be upset too if my piano string snapped. It's the same, but piano is usually uh, never happen. The string almost never snap. For Curly, you will say when he came in, didn't he? I had a surprise this morning. I wonder if it's a case, a new case to our lawsuit. Well. Yes, this man is the pride of the British Empire. The famous consulting detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. By playing this game, every episode, there'll be a recap, so you don't have to worry about anything right here. So, Casey, are you still with me? How are you? Well, my Pam is already soggy woggy. <laughs> Who Pam is not soggy? I love to have lovely, lovely Pam Pam right here. Alright then, enough of this silly conversation. That'd be lovely right here. With you guys talking about all the Pams right here, it make us really cozy. And I hope that you have yours well padded and well pat pat right here. Don't leave your butt cold. Make sure you put some Pam Pam on, baby. I'm here, Jamie. Just getting changes. That's good, that's good. And here we have Iris Wilson. Mr. Shom, Lodger, and Companion. And she is super smart. Not sure Supreme Pull-Ups. After a long day, I think... I think you need someone help to get that lovely tape tape diaper on whimper shy i wish i could be there to help you with the lovely tape abdl pam pam right here usually sometime when i come home after a long day of work a pull up will suffice but they are supreme right so they should be very thick and comfortable <coughs> <coughs> truly an exceptional young girl you guys are exceptional Young boyo and girl too. Who is the author of this? A highly successful serialization here in London. She is, uh, yes, an author. She published many um, crime drama and series in the book. I love the so soft of them. Ah. Uh, Mega Max and Blue Footy. Blue Footed Jammy. I got a 1C right here. I got Rhea's Mermaid. Super duper comfy. I'm so glad that every Bab is able to like come together and share their lovely Pam Pam right here. That's so sweet. Well. Prior to coming to the stream, I haven't really got time to put my Pam Pam on though. So I'm a blank flanky right now. Ah well, I received a letter from Japan. Oh, from Susie you mean? Was it really? I love to be in them 24-7 right here. But like, you know, I love to have a caretaker as well, because like, I feel like I, I needed that lovely caregiver touch right here if I'm gonna go 24-7. I couldn't have done it alone. 
But you know what that means? That means a wet baby goat! Am I right? <laughs> That's mean a wet, wet baby goatee right here. And she has some rather startling news, in fact. Indeed. You must tell us about it over breakfast. Oh, joy. Alright. So basically, this is the last case um, that we did right there. You remember we, we figured out who killed the um the the swan lady in the in the shack? It was the photographer. He was the one that did it. And he did it because he had this weird like really twisted way of like righteous him right here. You know, he thought it was righteous to kill that woman because the, her crime goes unpunished. But you know, little that he knows that he has become the murderer himself, and he's no better. She was gonna be trial in Hong Kong, I think, but uh, it didn't happen because she died before leaving the country. Oh, how lovely. But now, we are in London right now. We're in England, you know, the, the British Empire right now, so yeah. This is a very, this is a brand new setting. Oh, look at Susie beautiful writing. I wish I could read it. I have a kind of bad handwriting right here. I mean, not bad in like an unreadable way, but it's just not very sophisticated. I'm a very like, you know, kind of like a childish, babyish kind of a baby unicorn writing right here. Just my handwriting haven't really changed much since I was young. She's very well, thank you. In fact, according to what she's written. Also, it's just really weird. My handwriting is still first grader too! <laughs> Hooray! Handshakes too much random me. <laughs> Why can't you not pamper it? Why can't have you not pampered by streaming? <laughs> when streaming? Well, um, I would love to right here, little one. I just, I just haven't got the time to put it on prior to the streaming. But don't think that I don't love being padded right here. I love being padded so very much. I just need a little bit of... I just need a little bit of some love and some some little time to put it on right here drink okay i'm gonna drink off my lovely lovely my little pony cup that i have right here drink 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 let's drink together Nia. and if i wet myself it's gonna be <laughs> The shaddy! <laughs> the shaddy that made me drink drink right here. Hope I don't wet myself. I got an Eevee cup. That's so sweet. I love Eevee too. Isn't she wonderful? I gotta cut above yourself, my dear fellow. I have one of cases too, you know. Apparently, Mr. Natsume appeared in the trial as the witness. Because they reused the character model. <laughs> that is kind of lazy. <laughs> Natsume, Natsume. I don't recall that name. It was the last case we did. We helped the man twice. Two cases took place on Briar Road six months ago. Ah, the mustache twishy man. <laughs> With somewhat feline eye and a mustache. He didn't have two mustache early. Who could forget about those two cases? They made a very deep impression on me. Oh, he didn't remember the... The person he defended. <laughs> Although, the detail is a little bit hazy. 
a very deep impression they made on you clearly <laughs> I hope I made a good and deep impression on you guys too as a baby unicorn and a lovely lovely baby foxy right here should I do strawberry milk or chocolate milk I love strawberry milk it's just water right now it's just water right now that I'm drinking. Usually when I'm streaming, I'm not really bringing any foodie up here. Even though I love some cookies right here to have. Okay. So what is your startling new this morning over the breakfast? So. Do you remember the case of the haunted lodging? Yes, it's very interesting, you know. I don't feel entirely uncertain of the case culture. He totally forgotten then. In her letter, she, Miss Susato asked that we read over her case note again and in investigate further. Because that, you know, there's something more to this. More to the last case. Do you remember at the very end? That, that photographer came out and said that there are more, there are people, more people involved about the poison and about the death of Dr. John Wilson. I mean, was it, was his name again? Will, is it Wilson? The Sherlock Holmes partner. What's Sherlock Holmes partner name? Sherlock Holmes and, and, and... I, I think it's Wilson or, or something like that. Odd request, but what diaper do you think I should wear? Got animal, space, and princess. I think you should go princess today. I love to see you in pink. I mean, you look lovely in pink, Wimper Shy. Matter of fact, if I would have drawn the body in your baby goat, I would actually might put a pink pink starry like you know baby diaper on you in in my art yeah <laughs> oh and my art commission is still available if anybody is interested right here um we got the uh, lovely cam cam together tom if you're thinking about having a lovely toast with me or you're feeling that you want to celebrate anything with me you can celebrate with me right here and I'll come on the cam cam and celebrate with you for an hour and uh, we'll have a toast right here and the price is $10 donation right here or $10 tip for the service because of something Mr. Natsume said to her apparently he suggested the real reason why she was called back <clears throat> And it has something to do with the entirely with the case of the haunted lodging. That is very, very. Yeah, that was the almost the very first case that we did. Miss Susato questioned him about the case. She said something. Mister Natsume say appeared to trouble Professor Mikotoba. Prompting him to send that telegram. So basically, he has become troubled that he called his daughter home to defend the, 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 the trial. Why did it put anyone in front of my sentence? Anyone is candy scented, would recommend it. I think it's little for big. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, candy scented. Which one is the candy scented one? The princess's one? <coughs> I'm thinking about having you do a giraffe. You can go with anybody lovely. A recommendation right here. A diaper is a diaper and always they are very lovely indeed. I think that you got to have a changey soon, aren't you? Hmm? Well, if it's sulky, do you think there's a little bit more room in that, um, in, in that pam-pam, that pull-up? 
when I when I wear my pam pam, I usually stay in them for a very long time right here. I think I could last around six hours in them. Maybe I'm not drinking enough water. It was very strange, wasn't it? And I have complied with the whole story of a nice neat manuscript ready for publication too. Oh, you guys making me wanting to put mine on. Maybe I'll put mine on in this dreamy too. But then Hurley here was all funny about it, remember? He was very mean. The story must not be published, you said. Very mysteriously as well. <coughs> Mm. Repatriation. I don't usually heard that word often later. It's been four months ago now. Since <sighs> we waved off to her in the dark. It was such a shock, wasn't it? The way she just suddenly announced that she have to head back. Princess is a butterfly horses with candy scented. Vanilla and roses make a very great scent together. Yes, join us, baby unicorn. Become crinkly and soft bottom. Bleeds in Darth Vader theme. Bleed, 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 bleed. bleed. <laughs> <laughs> bleed <laughs> I'm trying to do the bleeding sound but I think you do a much better impress uh, impersonation of the bleeding sound impression indeed it was due to the telegram she received from her homeland I believe that's right telling her to return urgently I would love everyone to come chat chat with me right here. Mr. Kid, right here. Come, come tell us about your Pam Pam since you're wearing Pam Pam too, and Baby Tiki too. Yes, because her father had passed away. For me, as a as a baby unicorn, I didn't have a lot of stashy like other people do. So sometimes, like you know, I got real, real frugal about using the Pam Pam right here. Yes, because her father has passed away. That's why I really, really needed a partner that is also like caring and loving and would be there for me just to, to you know, encourage a little bit more babiness out of me because I love to have more baby time right here. And this is with the streaming right here. I feel like I'm getting that, you know, baby time with you all right here. I'm, Taking care of you in the same time we're playing together and having fun together right here. No, no, no. It's just a suffering from high fever. But according to this letter, the news about her father's fever was just a ruse. It was a lie right there. It wasn't true. Yeah, why did he do that? Why did he do that? We we're about to see right here why. I have to admit, admit, I have absolutely no idea. So there's something that he made her come back. And the photographer would still ring hollow right here that, you know, it was a conspiracy. He killed, he, he, he did the murder not because he wanted to, but to unravel a bigger mystery right here. He thought he wouldn't be found out that he committed a murder right here. He thought it was a perfect one. But she believes it's almost certainly related to the case of the haunted lodging. Summoning her back to Japan was so suddenly like that. I wonder what Mrs. Adofather is hiding. Do you know what this is all about? I'm gonna click autoplay so it read everything, um, so that you can follow very, very easily, like a movie. There was quite a leisure. So, man in the fort is the absence. 
I can't really read that fast though, as my English is a little bit of a like you know I'm I'm fluent, but the thingy is that it's like when it comes to reading, I can't speed read that 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 mushy. What did what did the what did he say? So man in the fort in my absence, won't you, Iris? So that's the only sentence that I miss. Man the fort in my absence, won't you, Iris? So basically, she said, please babysit the housey for me. <laughs> babysit the housey. Hi, Poppy. Welcome back to the streamy right here. Come on in. Come on in. We want you to be padded. We make time for you. You do good, good, say Johnny Blaze. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Me do, me do my best, best for you all right here. And if you want to help support in my endeavor and my streaming career, I really wanted to make this something that I could support myself with. You can help me at ko dot com slash sweetie Jamie right here. And if you run into any problem, please let me know. Thank you so much, everyone. What were the what were the words? Can you speak? Brain forgot the type of wordy. <laughs> it's so key. Don't worry. Don't think about brainy. Have some rattle. Have some rattle, rattle right here, baby. I'm gonna go put on my Pam Pam because you guys are making me wanting to put one on very much. So I'll be right back. By the way, if you guys have not tried this trick out as well, um, I'm gonna change at the my streaming chair right here so you can hear the crinkle. I'm gonna put on the medical white one right here. This one is like kind of a sh uh, sheepish pam pam, but it's easy to put on, and I don't feel bad about wearing these at all. So I'm gonna put that on right here. I wonder how do we change in the share. Mm. Mm. Kind of like having a bit of go. Take notes. So basically you can do a sitting posture of the Pam Pam and then you can done one tape uh, on the side first and the other. But then you, you transfer from a standing position to a sitting position right here and you can do it rel relatively easy right here. So just by standing first, um, aligning your Pam Pam the back and the front, you can do the sitting posture change very very easily right here although i love to have um 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 uh, a laying down posture that was my favorite uh pam pam changes right here he scattered off rather quickly there i master at a wall changey at work well done that is very free I perhaps think Professor Mikotova isn't the only person hiding something here. Do you, do you mind if I ask, like, do you have, like, a co-worker that know about your incontinence? Right here? Are, are they, like, mostly vanilla or are they, like, um, they don't mind? Because, like... I do my streaming and thinking like that. I guess you guys know already I wear Pam Pam right here. So I was wondering like, you know, if I'm going out in public places. I mean, I went out in public in Pam Pam and nobody noticed. Nobody made comments or thing like that. And that is with like a full-fledged uh, ABDL Pam Pam right here. Not just uh, 
if you haven't tried it out, I actually like the brand Owl So Cute. I think they say it a lot. Like if you're if you're wanting babyish print in affordable prices, I would like you guys to check them out. I mean, they are kind of underrated in the ABDL space, but uh, their their pack is actually not expensive. I think it was twenty buckaroni. Or maybe they increases the price to twenty five. Even to twenty five, I think it's a good value. Then you have a uh, five thousand milliliter of absorbency right here, so they are pretty cool. So Seiki San was involved in two cases, but only one of them was forbidden from being published by all of the people. Mister Sholmes himself. Aha! I found them at last. Although, why Sholmes didn't want the case to be published? Because Dr. Wilson is Iris' father right here. I think he was trying to save Iris from knowing the truth that her father was being murdered by, um, you know, getting poisoned and murdered in overseas right there. And she could have been very sad. Iris, are they? The note about the case. That's right. Susie and I compiled them together. Yeah, people know it's so much of a secret. Just a health thingy. Mm, mm, mm. Is I have a harder time explaining myself since I don't have a, a health related problem right here. <laughs> so I have a, a a rather harder time explaining if if someone to question me. Do you want to read them, Runo? But I do feel like I do have a need for them emotionally. They they serve as, um, you know, things that really really help me through the day, especially. I keep listening me going to go on Fortnite. I love Fortnite. I love Fortnite very much. I haven't really gotten into this uh, season yet. I mean, it's crazy being like, you know, you play one season and then you're like, you have this thing that you wanted to try other game. You wanted to play other game. You love the game so much, but like you, you, you needed, you needed a. Uh... <laughs> You needed a uh, some some shake up some game that I wanted to play that are not Fortnite and I have been putting them off so that's why I I've been I've been um, trying to play other games because Fortnite is Fortnite it's it's gonna be Fortnite it's gonna be fun it's gonna be good you know what it is already you know the story of Fortnite it's a battle royale game you're getting to number one right here. And every game is different, but in the same way, it tells the same story. Uh, whereas, like, this game is telling different, entirely different story in a boringer way. <laughs> boringer way. I mean, it is much more boring than Fortnite. But, however, I'm learning new things that are coming in, right? Reliving every detail. I just need to find a clue. And all I have is it all the time in the world, because of course, I'm no longer allowed to practice law in the court of Great Britain. I, I think that he'll be able to practice law again. I'm sure. I am sure of it. It was six months ago, a mysterious incident that unfolded the wintry street of London. A woman, a young woman was found ly lying down in a snowy pavement on a briar road with a knife in her back. Fortunately, her life was spared and she was unconscious for several days following the incident. The fog was thick and nobody saw her attacker, but by a crew twisted of fate, a visiting Japanese student was walking behind her at the time and was duly arrested. That man was Soseki-san. The man who affected his arrest was Mr. Sholmes. And we defended him in the courtroom. Believing in an on our compatriot innocence, Susado-san and I decided to represent Soseki-san in court. After that grueling trial and of many twisted and turns, we finally managed to prove his innocence. 
Hello, Callie. Come on in, princess. <laughs> you came in right at the right of the, like, you know, the dancing Sasaki sound right here. I haven't watched the new video yet. Oh my god, this guy. Yes, it's the same guy. <laughs> What's the man reaction after the trial? But his jubilant uh, jubilation was short-lived. We received a telegram from Mr. Strong's the following morning. Yay! Yeah, over you, two though, years, baby twins. Snuggle. <laughs> Twenty-five months, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hooray! Oh, that make me sniffles. Thank you. You get a lovely, lovely crinkle rattle. Crinkle rattle. Oh, by the way, I'm padded up thanks to our lovely chat. <laughs> lovely, lovely chat right here. Just saying that how babyish they are and how wet, wet they are. We got a lot of soggy, soggy, uh, fellows right here today. We received a telegram from Mr. Sholmes the following morning. The victim of Briar Rose stabbing has regained consciousness. Hurry to depart at once. So this is a recap of what happened right here. Oh, it's just a, it's just, um, a medical, uh, sheep, sheep one. It's all white. With a tap in front with a number on it. It's not spectacular, but it's all good. Getting my gold one C on with a pacifier. Oh, I wish I could see you in then so much whimper shy. What's on your pam pam? asked by Casey. Well it got a it got a number on it. It got a size L on it. I wholeheartedly wear size M though, by the way. They sent me size L for... I don't know why they did it, but like when I asked them, they said you could just return them and we'll send you a new one. I'm like, nah, it's alright. So Susado-san, I summoned a handsome, handsome and heal immediately to the hospital. So, this is what happened. This this is new. I don't think we have the scene before. I don't think I talked with the uh with the victim before. I mean, she. This is the first time right here that I talk with the victim. There you are at last. Good morning, Mr. Sholmes. Thank God. Oh. Yo, late! What on earth took you so long? Oh, so this is four months ago. This is not at the present time right here. This is when the case was happening. Ski moo moo milk. Ooh, moo moo milky. Hello. Welcome to the streamy ski moo moo milky. Did you brought some lovely, lovely milky for me too? Oh, the game. Overheard what is going on to the hospital. I was like, who in the chat need help? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the game. Overheard. <laughs> oh, you're so considerate, Wimper Shy. That's so sweet. That's right. It was half past five now. I think I made a very good time. The time is utterly irrelevant. The fact is, I've been waiting for the... Mm, what has felt like eternity. Ha! Huh. The point is... Of the fact, I myself was awoken at 4 this morning by a telegram boy. The feeling of somewhat unjust, I alone have been aroused to the such hour I sent one to you. Well, thanks for that. Anyway, you're here now, so the victim is over there. She's only regaining her conscience. 
Should you introduce yourself, I shall observe from here. I think that the detective or Mr. Sholmes already talked to the victim right here. So, let's see what she have to say. Well, I mean, it was kind of rough that she got a knife stuck on her uh, back right there, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you for sending I love you emote right here, Skimmo -mo Milky. How are you? Please come chat with me though. Don't leave this baby unicorn hanging. Her name is Ah yes, here we are. Miss Green! Whoa, isn't that a <laughs> lovely way to name your character? Miss Green indeed, because she wear green. Got it? <laughs> Get it? It was pretty easy. Let's see what is this statue though. A wooden figure. I don't think that's a decoration. It's an artist mannequin. Really? It's not exactly what you call that type of figure though, is it? No, I suppose not. I confess I've never seen quite one quite full figured before. Hmm. Well. Oh, what's that? A photograph of young gentleman. Perhaps this young woman special someone, do you think? Who is that? My, my. I didn't know you had a sense of matter of heart. <laughs> well. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else. So this is her note on the bed. It's a painter. Painter, painter, painter. I'm a digital painter right here. I mean a digital bap bap commissiony bap bap drawing <laughs> thingy right here. Although I don't, I typically don't do 3D arting right here. But it was. I hope that you guys like like the my my drawing, Mia. Yeah. But a pigeon, yes. This is a person. Poor woman. I hope she hasn't read this. Okay. Will she have a? Oh my God! This hospital have a freaking mouse in the hospital. It look like a very healthy specimen, doesn't it? It's very plump. Uh, I'm not sure we can say this says down to excellence of a facility. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. Miss Miss Green personal bag. Someone must have um family or friend must have brought things for her. No, Mr. Naruto, you must never screen as a young maiden personal belonging. Maybe she got a Pam Pam in there. I mean, look at how plumpy that suitcase look. Mm, but the young maiden might have chocolate, or biscuit, or caramel. Fish bread right here. Fish bread, welcome back to the streamy right here. Are you doing my pamper check? I just put mine on, so I'm dry. Thank you for checking me right here. You can you can have my lovely, lovely guard right here. You can pull my lead guard and see that I'm not soggy anymore. Just like my lovely, lovely baby goat right here. Well, which one did you put on, Wimpershy? Did you put on the pink one? Or did you put on the giraffe one? Let me know. Welcome. Oh wait, I already did this one. I'm gonna talk to the victim right now. I think we'll learn more about her. Good morning. Uh, she looks a little bit frustrated. I mean... Not, not that, you know... Not that it's like... Mm. It's okay, we got a mod here. It'll be out of your lovely, lovely chat in no times right here. So please do not worry. 
princess, the only animal one I have didn't have giraffe. Maybe it's a rias, uh, it's a rias thingy. Hello, I um, I am a lawyer. Was it you or knife? Who are you, the man who? No, of course not. I'm a lawyer. I'm an ace attorney, bap bap, right here. A crinkly one at that. And it's an unknown brand. Got it on packages deal. Really? That's so sweet. I wish I could have seen it. That seemed like a sweet one right here. Although it doesn't have a giraffe, it got animals on them. And they are doubt diaper? Is a doubt sized one? Pleased to meet you. Oh, was it you then? No! I assure you, I'm the assistant right here. We heard you regain consciousness and want to give you our best wishes. We are a lawyer right here. Uh, I'm Olive. Olive Green. I'm an artist. Oh, no, that's not right, is it? I, I mean, I'm trying to be an artist. Oh, well, I really mean is I desperately want to be an artist. I mean, she... He have all the paints with her, and that's lovely. True, this they don't have any talent. I know, I know I don't. And no wonder I was stabbed in the back. She have a little bit of a um, low self esteem right here, but it's okay. We're gonna bring her up here right here, like I bring bring all lovely, lovely, dream uppy moody right here. I want everyone to be happy in my streamy chat chat. I don't think that's related, actually. Gosh, this young woman seemed to bend over backward and put herself down. <laughs> Seeing as we're here, we should ask her what about what happened from her uh, perspective. What happened? What terrible experience you had, Miss Green. What what did you know? It was cold that day. The fog was so thick, I couldn't see a thing. It was four days ago now, I think. Is that right? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid you've been comatose all that time. Brad, so cute! <laughs> but the case has been so passionate. Whoa, I've been here in the hospital, I mean. Pet it. Forget about the victim. Pet the ratty. <laughs> Pet the ratty. <laughs> I didn't know you like a, a pet ratty. <laughs> Indeed, it has my dear madame spectacular by none other than I, Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Sherlock, are you well? As you well know, it was Mr. Naro Hodo hard work in the court that solved the case. Are you get to hear what happened, Miss Green? Yes, I'm afraid so. A gentleman from a police force is supposed to be coming to film me in shortly, so she don't know what happened to her yet. So we can see, we can tell her. I had a few mouses I keep as pets. Really? That's so sweet of you. You're such a kind soul, Wimper Shy. I mean, if I if I see a rat or a mouse in my house, I'll possibly chase it off. Because it's, it's uh, I mean, the rat or the, the mouse is here. It's not very hygienic, especially one in the kitchen. But you're a very kind soul that you help take care of them right here. You're so sweet. Me coming around seems to have made everyone frantically busy. Always wanted a rat. We caught a mouse at work. I didn't want to kill it. So I kept him through the winters. I let him go outland in the woods. Well done. What a lovely, lovely person right here. I myself have caught a rat too, but 
you know, it was a very small one at that. I think it's a baby rat or a baby mouse right here. What happened is that uh, the mouse gotten in my room somehow. I mean, not not when I was in the university. It was a dormitory. It wasn't like you know well kept right here. I mean, it was a dormitory, you know. So a mouse got into my room. God knows how. But I I I I I, I make a trap for for it. It's a very, very sophisticated trap. Do you know how I did it? Let me... I wanted you to um, guess how I actually trapped the mouse right here. Or at least how I caught him. So, I have this lovely Pringle, uh, Pringle bottle right here, right? Well, I almost finished the Pringle, but I have some left. At the very back, I also put a chocolate at the very end of the uh, Pringle um, bottle. And there's some Pringle left at the end. I put the bin. I put the bin below my table. And I left the Pringle bottle hanging from my table. This is without any tape or anything right here and I put the I put the like the bin a tall bin below it right here so at around five o'clock in the morning the rat came and God knows it fell down into the bin because it was trying to get to the Pringle and the chocolate that I that I uh, put at the very end the, the the rat took the bait and I caught it right inside the Pringle tube it couldn't got out oh wait it got out of the Pringle tube it climbed all the way out but luckily uh, my bin kept it in thanks god it kept it in I mean it's my bedroom for crying out loud I wouldn't want a rat in my bedroom I'm sorry and then I put them outside and um and I I just put him out and outside and I releases him into the wilds one more once more. So all wells that end wells, I guess. I call my trap the Pringle X9000! It's a good trap name. It's a good contraption. I'm proud of it. Oh no, we're so relieved that you're on the men, Miss Green. Really, we are. I caught a Houdini with some sauerkraut and plastic container by hand. <laughs> oh my god, wow. That is so cool. That is super sweet right here, Wimbershide, the way you did it. And you did it by hand too, that is so amazing, Mia. With that kind of attitude, maybe surname should be blue, not green. <laughs> I mean, she, she does have a little bit of a self-esteem, but... She's okay. So you're an artist, are you, Miss Screen? I'm a fledgling artist at best. I mean, I'm a student of art, really, at Thorndike Academy of Fine Arts. South crowd, that's interesting, babe. I wouldn't expect it to work. <laughs> oh my, an Academy of Fine Art. Great Britain is such a wonderful country. Tell me, Miss Green, do you live here about? Oh no, actually, I don't deserve it, but I'm a little flat on Brixton Road. I see how very interesting. What 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 is interesting about it? Brixton is ten stop away from the underground from here. Horn Dyke 
It's a mere three minute walk from Brixton Town Center. So, why? Perhaps Briar Road is far less salubrious part of the town. Dwelled by those inferior means. Including the Maleficent, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> He have reduced all our lovely character to Mr. Mustache. It won't let me post more of the story. Something I'm saying doesn't go true. Really? It doesn't? Let me check. Callie, can you see the message that doesn't come true? Usually, I have the message um, on my screen. It should come true just fine. I really mean it though. It should come true just fine right here. I really mean it though. It should come true just fine right here. Um, let me see here. Yeah, it has not caught by the auto mod right here. Really? Mm, it's not caught by auto mod. It's not caught by anything. I wonder what happened. By the way, um, Callie, do you know how to remove, like, a message right here? I mean, oh, you can click timeout, and I think, I think when you timeout someone, that message is deleted, uh, automatically right here. So, that's pretty cool. Finally, rewarded six time. Caught chaos potato near oil cooker. Wow. Chaos potato. <laughs> chaos potato low. I had to be brave to save him from being injured. What does a chaos potato look like? It's blocking out the word hurt. Oh. Oh, to my surprise, it did. Wow. A mouse alright. Wow. God. That is so Wait, is the curse is the cursed potato is a, a chaos potato is another word for a rat or mouse? <laughs> it's what a rat or uh, uh, mouse owner called him. Chaos Potato. I guess they cause chaos everywhere. I wonder how, how one should uh, raise it as a pet. I wonder if uh, uh, a rat or mouse does have the same loyalty as dogs and cats do right here. Yeah, because they are lumpy and clam a lot. They did a really good job spinning those uh, tiny wheels if you have those, uh, you know, those wheels right there. They like to run around in them. Hello, Andrew. Welcome to the lovely streamy. Come on in. <laughs> oh, dear me. Do forgive me. Um, if you don't mind. I'm being discharged shortly. I need to pack up my things. Of course, we won't keep you. Thank you so much, Miss Green. Oh, oh boy. Is there Mr. Narrow Fodder here? <laughs> Mr. Narrow Fodder? No, I'm not Mr. Narrow Fodder. I guess all the Britain people just like didn't, uh, cannot comprehend the way they read the foreigner name well um if they've read my first name and last name i think he'd be as confused if you're looking for narahodo the lawyer that's me but ah mr narrow father good this is for you it's a message for mr saucy nuts mac oh my lord 
Who is missing not to saucy nutsmack? Oh my, Mr. Nasume sent a message to me. Exactly, what's going on? Scotland Yard constable doing playing delivery boy at this time in the morning. Oh, what are you waiting for? Let me see that. What happened? Well, this is most unexpected. There's something wrong, Mr. Sholmes, he said. Have you not seen this note? How could I have? I mean, you read it first. It would seem that London criminal have no intention of letting this great detective rest. Hello, Andrew. What did I miss? Well, this is a brand new case right here, Andrew. And we're going back four months ago when we're still in London. And we're back playing as Ryunosuke Naruhodo, the lawyer right here. Back then, we were playing as Susado, right? The girl. And we defended the uh, our innocent uh, friend successfully. And the case ended very, very well. And everyone go home and we got a non-guilty verdict from the last time right here. This is a new case. I don't think you missed much right here, Andrew. So you can follow from here. We just saw the, the people that is getting discharged out of the last case. So it's all good. A new case called a case of murder, no less. We must depart at once. Murder? Call Cap. Tom is just of the essence. Oh boy. I wonder if if he is the one that is also a uh, uh, all here in the note, my fellow. The murder we must investigate. Who placed at the must the mustache lodging? Wait, what? I'll hail the Fias at once. Yay, not Miss Mush. It was only that soseki san was in the court. We were dispelling doubt about his innocence. And now, in the very next day, there's a murder on his, this man's own address? He may very well be the unluckiest man alive. Or well, seemed to be for us at that time. We were so soon to discover it was way worse than we thought. Good timing, Andrew. What happened? How? 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 How could? How could there be a man that is dying in this guy's house again? Oh my freaking god! What happened here? What on earth? The gentleman is deceased without question. He's dead. Local student, Mr. Narahodo Esquire. So he is gonna be another. We have to defend him again. Why me? I only just got out of the court yesterday. I'm finally home. So what happened is that he lived in the in the bottom, the the underground of this um. The underground of this uh, compartment is a is an apartment. He lives at the very bottom floor. It makes for a perfect murder scene, isn't it? Everything is all shut in. Everything is like you know. It is, and then wake up to this the next day. No early bird should catch a worm like this. Woeful worm without wiggles. I see him in high spirit again, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> it's not the horrible Herlock Chomes. Shoo! Shove! You show your shove to the door. I don't never intend to invite you. I'm quite sure he'd be able to help you, Mr. Natsume. I'm entirely at your disposal, Mr. Mustache. How, what can I do to help you? <laughs> oh, another mustache man. Uh, the fish and chips guy. The Gregson, the detective. Although he make me very, very hungry with his stupid fish and chips. 
I want some fish and chips now. I'm a inspector, Gregson. What a pleasant surprise. Pleasant, is it? Give me a hard burn every time I see your face at the crime scene, chumps. Huh. I deduce, Inspector, that your heartburn is a result of your excessive consumption of fried food. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Hmm. Good morning, Inspector. This is a crumb scene. Don't you go touching anything. How about your crumb of fresh and chips everywhere? Good morning to you too, sunshine. Oh boy. What happened with this uh, victim right here? What happened to him? What is that? It's like... What is that though? Boy, I say hands off. You're gonna mess up the crime scene. No, I just wanted to look at all. Oh, come on. All right. It seems that we have to talk to the in, uh, uh, detective first or else he'd be grumpy at me. So, okay. All right. We'll talk to you first then. What's this victim name? Who is he? William James Spear. <laughs> is that a is that a like a parody of William Shakespeare, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, his 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 uh his no one was I mean his writing must be so shameful. He got a he got a name, Mr. William Shamspear. He was a lodger here. As you can probably tell, he was an actor. A bit before he did uh, lost as what why did it happen? It was a it was a landlord old Mr. Garadeb, the other lodger, who found him. The fellow didn't rise at his usual hour, so Garadeb got worried and kicked down the door. But doesn't Miss Garadev have a bad legs? Yeah, but you're right there. It was Jittery uh, Hunchback over there who was actually did the kicking. Wait, he did the kicking? The victim was pretty hard up, it seemed. Ever done some time inside this petty crumbs. He had no money, no place to go, no friends. His only acquaintance were the people in this house. Miserable life. Miserable end to it. Oh, come on. You don't have to go and, and really, like, tell the story of a man that miserable. So what exactly is Ms. Emma Nasume doing here? He's n not involved in the investigation, so shouldn't you just send him away? I mean, he just kicked down the door for him, right? How he died. Looked off. It's weird. It's like he's been poisoned. I mean, there's a mark next to it. May, um... Well, definitely he doesn't have a Juliet to go with. I'm not saying that it's because of the fella looks odd or anything, or that he acted suspicious, but I thought it would be prudent to take the statement from the... <laughs> I mean, cohabitor. Oh, so he thought that this guy is the culprit again. Oh, come on, detective. You know that Mr. Soseki, the mustache man, would not kill anybody. He's just really unlucky. You nearly say culprit there, didn't you? Oh, dear. Mrs. Natsume seemed to be under suspicion again. Oh, come on. I mean, it's just in the same apartment. It's not that he's in this man's room. I mean, he is in his own room the, the way he died. I mean, you know. The landlord come kick down the, the this man's room. The body is still warm. Oh, my. I 
I don't think I can do anything with that body right now. So, I have to talk to the cohabitor first. Uh, I know how you feel. <laughs> Endless existence of excruciating experiences. <laughs> indeed, excruciating experiences, indeed. I mean, you're very unlucky, good sir. So the victim lives here on the ground floor and your room is just one story up, isn't it? Yes, that's right. In a way, we were neighbors, I suppose. Did you know the victim? Uh... Uh, why is he suddenly silenced? Oh no. He knows something. He starts shaking. He, why is he, he so, he's so, so shaken? Well, I, I suppose he wasn't a complete stranger. But, 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 uh, did, did he ever invite me to his room? Never! Well, I mean, if you live in the same apartment as one and another, even though you're a neighbor, you wouldn't invite them to your room, is it? If you live in the same flat, you wouldn't just invite your neighbor, hey, let's have some tea in my room. Who sit in on the edge of the seat like that with his leg fully extended? I mean, after the poison, I mean, he must have slouched down right here, Wimpershy. That would be my guess right here. On my honor, I swear it. Oh, what an extreme reaction. You're probably wishing you never asked now, aren't you? When we found him here, I felt wretched. Which is why I sent word asking you to come. Oh, did you know what happened? Um, did you know what happened? I read a article lately that is, has been bothering me. Uh, you know, a parent, a parent with a, like, a two or three years old daughter has been teaching her to actually, like, you know, people that wanted to hug her. Like, she would just, like, say no outright, like, you know, scream and, like, you know, not, like, you know, she only hugged the person that do something for her or, like, uh, the one that love her and then she give hugs to those person. Which is a bizarre article when I heard about it. A two or three years old should be the best, like, hug giver of all time. But this parent teaches her to... You know, be very, very, uh, you know, avoidant of, 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 uh, effectual love. Although I would understand if it's a complete stranger, that would be something that a parent would have taught her well, not to go, uh, like, you know, let stranger hug her, because that would be really bad. So, but for, for a family, you know, grandma, grandpa, even even the parent themselves uh, wanting to hug her, she make them work for it. Aka, they must have done something good for her, then she would give hug to them. It doesn't make sense to me. At least that is quite bizarre. I would love to uh, just share that with you guys right there. Weird how Facebook. Just do that, huh? Let me see that. Oi, hand off! Oh, he wouldn't let me. Well, uh... He didn't let me touch anything. Is there anything I can do to convince him to let me check out the crime scene? I'll take the phone call right here. Hello. Okay, 
Thank you. See you. So, I'm, I can't do anything. Although, I can possibly still look around. <laughs> what is he doing there? Did you see that? I gotta get up early tomorrow. Baby twin says I'm going to bed. Aw, thank you, twin sis. Thank you for being here with me. Um, have a lovely, lovely night night right here. Thank you so much for being with me. Hope you have a lovely night night right here. Good night, Callie. Thank you for being here. And um, yeah, I know I'm repeating myself, but I, I really am glad that you're here with me. And it was the first subby of the stream right here. So thank you so much. Thanks for streaming. I'm glad I saw notification. I'm glad it reaches you. I'm so glad it reaches you. I have a hard time reaching out to people with a uh, Twitter notification. <laughs> I think you like that. It's hard. It's much harder. Mr. Sholmes, what are you doing? <laughs> much love. Snuggles. Big, big snuggles from this baby unicorn. You need to only observe uh, to know it, my dear fellow. Investigating, naturally. Is that a natural pose about that? Mr. Sholmes, have you made your miraculous discovery? Patience, madame. Patience. We've only not been here in this room for five minutes. So far, I managed to deduce what actually happened. What? You already know what happened? Can you tell us? I have managed to draw two incontrovertible conclusions. The first, that there are no, was a physical struggle here last night, which victim fought for his life. What? Why is he shaking again? No, don't mind me. Oh no. Second conclusion is that there was a poison lingering in the air here last night that passed the victim lips. Nonsense! Alright, Mr. Nasume, why are you reacting so extremely to Mr. Chom's deduction? Invisible, ineffable, Inscrutable, insignificant. That's a lot of English words right there. Impossible to ignore. <laughs> you must tell us everything, Mrs. Shome. Spare no details. And of course, the theoretical tragedy before us unraveled by my great deduction. Presented to you for your pleasure in two acts. I heard this astoundingly in the past. No doubt that there be no extension. What miracle will unfold before our eyes this time? Let the curtain rise. For Harlock Sholmes' logic and reasoning spectacular. Act 1. A great deduction. The game is afoot. Cause of death. Carefully observation of the victim revealed to us that the event transpired in this room last night. Foam from the mouth of the deceased clearly indicate use of the poison. And he looks very stirred right there. Next to the victim is a large dining plate which contains what you will observe. Half sizable bar of soap, meaningful undubitably. Why is this soap set purposefully upon the dish like the victim last supper? In fact, yes. Could it be that the man was about to eat it? Of course, the fork revealed the answer and he's like, what? <laughs> if you, if you would have my theory right here. The man was trying to do an acting of him dying right here. He wasn't really wasn't supposed to die, right? 
he was just wanting to act like he was dying. So he have a soap and trying to act out that thing. It appeared that this young man's appetite was his undoing. Taking up arm in the form of a cautery, the victim engaged in deadly battle for his life. What? Yet the struggle for his hunger was in vain, for in the end he couldn't devouring the slippery feast. But London's soap is blemished in a foul poison. A victim life was claimed by this poison that tainted the content of the plate. The soap the latter young man mouths are perfectly mashed. What? The cause of death was clearly intoxication due to excessive ingestion of foul soap. Ah. Poisoning from soap ingestion. So what is the second one? Suicide or murder? The cause of death identified in the act 2 in the next question. Was this a suicide or a murder? An audience will recall the death occurred during the victim last supper. The man died and die alone? This single teacup suggests the answer. To draw a conclusion to the meager evidence would be foulish. Oh, he looks so flustered. Well, allow me to lift the well of doubt, my dear fellow. Indeed, that unravel, of course, the broken lock. But this was happened when he kicked down the, the door, right? So force open now. At the time of the incident, this door was locked, and the soul key was in the victim pocket. In other words, when the victim consumed the poison, he must have been alone, alone with his inferior soul. And with that aroma, that he said is a tragic solitude. No, I I believe that there is another person in the room. No, I, I believe that that is false right here. We gotta change that. You, well, your detective act is false right here. And I'm having to correct that. No. That's just one thing, Mr. Sholmes. Fry, what concerns you? Well, no matter how hungry you for it. Do you think that the man would eat in a soap? Of course not. I mean, he does have a career as an acting career. I'm sure to have tried a little bit of myself in the past. I, I do believe that is not the case right here. What are you doing, Wimper Shy? Are you doing lovely in the chat chat right here? How about you, Andrew? Did you put some lovely Pam Pam on? The little for big? We have another person who have gotten little for big lately right here, Andrew. Um, I think it was Baby Tiggy that came to my stream. He just came to brag about his Pam Pam right here. And then he kind of just go away. It has an unpleasant taste. That lead to discomfort. In summary, I cannot recommend it. I believe I wouldn't eat it if it, I were you. What about the board covering the hole in the wall? Yeah, that is suspicious. Maybe it's just a part of his acting thingy props? I don't see that it could cover anything much. But you might be right. Yeah, almost as Mrs. Shom deduction was to touch the nerve somehow. I think judging by Mr. Nasume's reaction, the grave deductive may have some gentle correction. Yes, Mrs. Shom's observation and deduction are a little bit too sharp. He have the ten tendency to hit the nail in the side of the head and drive it in the obtuse angle. 
when he does that, it falls to us to straighten it. Alright, then let's see what we can do. We must pick the keyword that Mrs. Sholmes brilliantly, and then we exchange it to a little bit that having a little bit more sense. Now that we arrive at what Mrs. Sholmes meant to say in the first place. In that case, are you ready for the second performance? Once again, my dear fellow, for your continued delight and wonder, let the curtain rise for Harlock Sholmes' logic and reasoning spectacular act one. Course correction. Hold it, Mrs. Sholmes. Here we go. Careful observation at the victim revealed to us that the event transpired at the, the room last night. Former amount of the disease indicate use of poison. I still cannot do anything right here. I cannot, I still cannot do anything right here. The fork? Well, you can't deny it implies that a man was eating something. That's true. If I were to eat the soap, I would prefer to use a fork. Um, it's just a half bar of soap right here. Is there something that I can tell that is not the soap? What was the victim really been eating? What happened with the fork? Let me see the fork closely. Why does have this man have a fork in his hand? point is, if we were to decide the man use of this, we were out to have some other clues. Let's look at the teacup. It was empty. There's no way of knowing it. Huh. I can't really have much angle right here. Is that a cheese? The other piece of a soap is down here. So he really didn't eat the soap, I think. There's more soap on the floor here. Look closely at this soap. You see it fit together with the perfectly. So basically he didn't eat the soap at all. There's a two half of it, right? There's this hat down there. There's no stain here. I can't. I am frustrated because I cannot see what, what he has. There's gotta be other clues here. This sleeve. I'm trying to pan the camera around, but this is all I can do. Really though, I can I can look at the soap. Other piece of soap. And that's all I can really look at. Is that a... What? What do you mean? They're two half of the same thingy. Let's look at the teacup once more. Can I present? Take that! Uh oh. Oh no! 
Oh no, no, I was supposed to present the Otter Bob soap. Oh no. That was not correct. It was the Otter Bob soap is correct right here. Because he didn't eat it. Because why would... Why? He just cut it in half. He didn't eat it at all. He did not eat that at all. So what I needed to do is... Of course, the other piece of the soap revealed the answer. Talk about slippery problem. And of Take course, that. is this other piece of soap is that review the answer right here? Could it be that the man was about to eat it? Of course, the other piece of soap review the answer. It being the other half of the soap on the table, in short, the victim did not have the soap. And depth of hunger could drive any man attempt to eat soap. No. It being the other half of the soap at the table, in short, the victim did was not eating a soap at all. Even I would have unquenched my thirst for practical knowledge. But that begs the question how the man was poisoned. There was no sign of any food on table. Yes, the victim was claimed by the poison, tainted by the content of the plate? No. Then it must be the teacup. It's the only thing that the victim has drink. Of course, food isn't the only thing that passed it into people's lips, is it? It's the teacup. I mean, he did not eat the soap, but he drank the, the poison. Indeed, the cup has vessel of choice. It would have appeared that with him drank every last drop. There's no sign of food anywhere in this room. The cause of death was clearly intoxication due to the poison contained in this teacup. In poison in the tea, so so is this a suicide or a murder? The act two of this part right here. Was it a suicide or a murder, everybody? What do you think? Perpetrated. This man died alone. The single teacup. Wait. There's a western vessel and feels in the hot drink again. So how are we going to prove that he has someone else with him? Hmm. Wait, the other teacup is in the victim hand. Take that! Wait, what? The man... Did the man die alone? Did he die alone? The other teacup suggests the answer. Yes, there were two teacup in the room all along. In other words, there's strong indication that there is another man here. Well, there was a guest present. At the very least, we can now say with certainty. That somebody else was in the room last night taking the tea with victim. And I think it's him. Yeah, I think it's this mustache guy. Well, allow me to live that well of doubt, my dear fellow. Yes, would you say that there was no like fingerprint uh, detection back in the days? Indeed, it was unravel. Of course, this broken law. I'm not so sure with their where this 
deduction is going now. But the identity of the guest who was here last night when the victim passed away is, is something I have a very bad feeling about. Let's look around. What happened? I don't think he can come through there, Andrew. File book. Uh, can I see this? What happened with this? Hmm. The picture of Monsieur Lecroix. Caterbury Yearning and the Mew for Grabio. What is this? Oh, it's all from the book of Mr. Natsume book. So, he have been here and he just bought them. That's right. This book belonged to Natsume, the mustache guy. He was really here. Pie of familiar familiar book. Take that. Indeed, what Ravel Ravel is the answer. Of course, it's a pile of familiar books. The three title linked to the truth. Mr. Natsume, you purchased this book four days ago. It's just a coincidence. In that case, you'll be... Why didn't he just confess in the first place that he was here? He was so scared that he'll become a culprit again, isn't he? This, uh, in fact, that it was your copy. Having purchased the book four days ago and returned to your lodging, you were arrested the very next day. So you could have conceivably have bought the book here on that evening, but you never mentioned that. On other words, you could have brought these three books here to the victim room. <laughs> That's a lot of dance posts. Last night, having returned to your lodging after the trial concluded, it was you that come here. It could only be you. The victim died here in the room last night, resorting of the poison. At the same night, the victim had a visitor. And that visitor is no other than Natsume. Yep, we got him. <laughs> but he wasn't the he wasn't the killer. <laughs> At the scene of the crime, so deduction completed. Yay, we deducted him, and now we're about to see what happened right here. But before we go on right here, I would love to say that this stream has come to an end right now, everybody. Thank you so much for being with me, and, um, you know, uh, be here with me. I appreciate your chat, I appreciate your lovely, lovely, uh, time together with me right here. Thank you so much. For being here everyone and i hope that you've joined me in the lovely next stream and um to help keep me motivated and and be here i hope that um you all will will be here and come through for me help me buy some milky and pam pam um at any times right here i love you guys very very much and thank you for those that have supported me Thank you, Wimper Shy. You have helped me so much, and you have my thanks. And I appreciate everything you you have done to support the stream. And you too, Andrew. Thank you very much for everything and for having the cam cam time together this month right here. Thank you. It was nice to watch after a long day of work. 
I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm very happy that I could be here and to have you here with me, Wimper Shy. Thank you for being with with me. Thank you for being with me, Andrew. Good night, everyone. Have a lovely evening, and I hope to see catch you all again later. Bye for now. Bye bye, everyone. Love you all. See you later. Bye. Snuggles. 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 Bye bye everyone. Love you very much. Hope that you'll be dreaming of baby unicorn. Bye.